pre-workouts. So I created a poll on the group before and asked the main reason why you take a pre-workout if you are a person that does. And uh, the reasons I gave were it gives you a buzz, gives you a lot of energy, creates a good muscle pump, um, and most of you um, gave the answer that I was expecting, which is to give you energy. Um, I'm going to go through um, the reasons um, why to use a pre-workout in a moment. I just want to explain a few things um, about supplements in general, right? So first and foremost, you need to be really careful with what supplement brand you use because uh, a lot of them are fucking cowboys and that is a fact. It's all about making money. So first thing to look for if you're using a particular brand, if your product says propriety, the proprietary blend, that means you don't know how much of each ingredient is in that product because it's classed as a proprietary blend. Got it right that time. Um, so basically, they could be having your fucking kecks down, bending you over and shafting you everywhere because you don't know how much of that ingredient is in that product, right? Generally, companies that do this with uh, the pre-workouts especially, they're just fucking shortchanging you. The, the product is ramped up, full of caffeine and arginine only. You're getting fucking shortchanged and you're paying top dollar, basically. Um, I used a company, uh, when I first started taking pre-workout, probably around five years ago. Um, the product was called C4 by Cellucor. Yeah, it's probably one of the worst ones out there. But again, um, full of caffeine, you feel good, you're full of energy and you think it's doing a great job. Okay, so that's the first thing. You need to just be careful what company you go with, make sure they're reputable, and make sure it has all the ingredients listed and the dosages of each ingredient. Okay, so for all you guys that are using a pre workout just for energy, please, please, please let me tell you stop taking it. Don't wish your money buying anymore. Go and get yourself a double espresso from fucking McDonald's for a pound, right? You're wasting your money if that's all you're using it for, for energy, because you can get that from a double espresso. Um, a pre-workout is designed to give you the maximal pump and to force as much blood into the muscle, the working muscle that you're training. Um, the reason for this is because the more blood you can force into the muscle, the more that's going to um, create the micro tears uh, that's needed to ensure an adaptation occurs, uh, which gives you the hypertrophy or the muscular uh, increase that you're looking for as part of your training. Yeah, uh, pre workouts also gives you performance gains from the, some of the ingredients that are in it, allowing you to train harder for longer, uh, buffer lactic acid, etc., etc. So again, if your goal is not building muscle and you just want energy, foot pre-workouts off, right? Just go and get a coffee. That's going to sort you out. If your goal is to build muscle and you're not taking a pre-workout and you can your, your finances uh, allow for you to, to, to use one, you're fucking leaving gains on the table if you don't use one. Because if you use a good one, it's going to make a big difference to your training. Like, trust me, if you take a good pre-workout and you go and train, let's say, train your arms, fuck me, you feel, you'll you feel like your, your arms are exploding because that much blood will be pumped into the muscle. And again, that's what we want when we're training for, for muscular gains, hypertrophy. Uh, we want as much blood into the working muscle to force an adaptation. Okay, so what should your pre-workout uh, product contain? Just off the top of my head, these are the things that you want in there. I mean, generally all pre-workouts have some uh, form of caffeine in. Um, some have fucking some ridiculous amounts, like 400 milligrams. Like, that, that's too much. That's going to raise your cortisol levels too much. You're going to crash straight after. And if you're having that and drinking coffee throughout the day, um, you're not going to be sort of uh, recovering your central nervous system properly. So go for one that's got two, maybe 300 grams of, uh, milligrams of caffeine in there. That's number one. 
You can get caffeine free versions as well if you train at night. I don't recommend consuming fucking 200 milligrams of caffeine before you go to bed because you'll be fucking climbing the walls. Um, okay, you want creatine in there, Creapure. Okay, five grams. Uh, Bioparine, which is a derivative of black pepper. You want citrulline malate in there, around five grams. Again, uh, beta alanine, lactic acid buffer around about two, two grams, two and a half grams. Um, the, the levels vary in different products. Um, what's another? Betaine, you want betaine in there. I mean, these are all products that you can buy um, individually and make your own fucking pre-workout, but it's a bit of a ball ache and you've got to remember and it can get messy. Um, now, again, over the years, I've tried a lot of different companies and I'm very, very fortunate enough to be uh, sponsored by a company now called Genetic Supplements. Um, they have, I, I'm not just saying this, it is the best free workout I've ever had. I feel like fucking, I'm a sock full of conkers when I've trained in the gym, it's got fucking things popping out everywhere. Um, but yeah, they do a, a caffeinated one and a caffeine free one. Um, and all the, those ingredients that I mentioned, it has all of those in, plus a couple more. And the, the most important thing is, they have those ingredients at the optimal dosage that you need to get the optimal uh, results from. Like, you'll find other companies have some of the ingredients and they won't have the, the correct dosage, it'll be really low. It won't be a proprietary blend like we talked about before, it will have the actual dosage stated, but it won't be high enough to get you the desired effect. So, my advice is this, I'm not saying go and buy from genetic supplements, although I would because they are by far the fucking uh, best that I've used, and I'm so happy that uh, I'm part of this brand, but you know, I'm just telling you what to stay clear from. And again, if you're not looking for these type of gains in the gym, like if you're going and just doing fucking cardio, don't take a pre-workout. Like you're wasting your money. Have coffee. Yeah. Um, so your your main reason for taking a pre-workout is to force as much blood as possible into the working muscle. That is the utmost uh the utmost, what am I talking about? The utmost reason, does that make sense? The utmost reason um, that you should be taking one. So having said that, go out and do your own research on this. I mean, don't just take my fucking word for it, right? I, I've said this in previous videos, like you've got to go and, and look this stuff up yourself. I mean, I'm telling you, you can trust me, but I'm sure everybody else on the internet starts saying this shit as well. Um, I want you to... Uh, Start questioning things and go and do your own research and find things out for yourself. But I can tell you flat out, Genetic Supplements, Advantage Ultra. I, If I'm training in the morning, I have the caffeinated version one because the caffeine does give you a good boost. Um, if I'm training at night, I have the caffeine-free version. Um, and again, you get a crazy, crazy pump off it. So if you can, uh, your budget allows, get yourself a pre-workout, otherwise you're leaving gains on the table. I hope that has cleared some things up. If you have any more questions, maybe about some of the ingredients that are in pre-workouts and, and what they actually do, I'm happy to go through that. But my my idea is with these videos, I don't want to fucking bombard you with too much information. I just want to break it down into stuff that is easy, uh, understandable, bullshit free, and that you can take away and, and use as you will. Okay, have a great night.